Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna Konamari the hell out of my kitchen. My kitchen is a disaster. I have several open packages just smashed into the drawers and into the cupboards. I literally can't find anything and I was about to record a video and I couldn't find the ingredients I needed and I was like, okay, that's it. It needs to be cleaned out, it has to be in order so I can make recipes, I can record new videos and I decided it's gonna be a Konamari method because I find it very nice, clean, easy to follow and it just looked really nice and I felt this is what I need in the kitchen this is what we're gonna do today I spent less than 50 bucks on different jars to organize this kitchen today it's not a lot of money, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a clean, nice kitchen, what is actually useful for you. So this is what we're gonna do. I am very embarrassed because my kitchen looks a mess and this is what you're gonna see very soon. I just left it as it usually is to give you a real picture and please be nice in the comments. If you just find my channel today, I do videos just like this one. I do recipe videos. All of them is keto, low carb and clean eating recipes, nothing complicated, very easy to follow, delicious meal ideas. I share my weight loss journey, I share tips on keto and intermittent fasting and how to do it on the healthy way. I am a certified keto health coach. If you are someone who is plateauing on your keto journey or you are not getting the results you want or you just really don't know where to start, then hit to my website, sign up for a free case estimation and I'm very happy to help you. I hope you like what you see here. If you do, then stick around, hit the red subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And now let's go to my kitchen. Okay guys, so welcome in my kitchen. This is my keto kitchen. Here is the oven full of fingerprints. It's a new recipe getting ready there. And here is my laptop, usually here I work. Then some vitamin and supplement stuff, microwave cup, and then some dirty dishes as usual. Spices, here is the cupboard fully, fully packed with stuff. And also here, I don't even know where to find my things. It's really, really messy but especially this cupboard where it's like food type of things for keto recipes like if you look plates are pretty okay in order and the glasses also that is really bad and also here and generally just the counters are fully fully packed all over all the time and this is what i wanna fix I only have three of the baking soda all over open boxes. Okay guys, now the things are unpacked from the cupboards and I am gonna make like a line keep and another line throughout. I always buy almond flour because I have the impression I don't have any. Okay, so how many half package I have? One, two, three, four, Five. and I bought three full to make sure I have enough. <laughs> you see? This is the reason we do this Konamari method because this is unsustainable that I have five open package. And the same with the almonds. I have one nut, different other nuts open and almonds. I have fried some almonds because I think I don't have any and I always buy a new one. And then these, I packed out the cupboard and there is so much tea. Look. And we never drink that much tea. This is tea. We have the same from some. I can't even hold them in my hands. It's just too much. Okay, this is the jars I got. Like this two example I had already. But uh, these ones and these ones are new. And this is what I got to organize all these open boxes and uh, different nuts and now I made categories like here is all my teas here is some uh, sweetener and baking stuff and seeds nuts flowers I have a bunch of sardinia concert for some reason and then here is my spices and here I am gonna organize everything into here here are all the different stuff what are non-keto and I still had it somewhere in the cupboard and I'm gonna either throw them out or donate it to someone. And 
now coconut flour. And this was our snack cupboard. And this is empty since we do keto. It's empty with all the leftover here. So we're gonna clean this up today and make it useful. Our ex snack drawer is going to become our tea drawer because clearly we have something for tea. And we have even two of them. And then another drawer is full of spices and baking stuff. And things we never use. Okay, so now I can put this in here this is all the spices i am not using often except the vanilla powder or extra but everything else is like occasionally and now i can just pull it out everything is together and not in like five different cupboards okay now i'm gonna clean this up and make it more useful okay so in this little basket i just put things in it what i use like maybe once every two weeks like mixed nuts or uh, almonds, sliced almond on hazelnuts, things like this and I know they need to be used and they are right here where my other seeds and nuts are. I am making order with the spices and clearly I underestimated myself because I found another drawer with spices and the funniest things that I love cinnamon, one of my favorite spice is cinnamon and I have three bottles and the reason is because I thought that I don't have any and this too is like this is unopened this is almost full and this still has for another month at least so this might have definitely worth it I find that I have a lot of things from everything okay guys I got done by the evening I thought it will be days of project to make my kitchen clean out and make it into order I really had a lot of fun I threw out a lot of things. You can see all this three garbage back over there is full of garbage, empty packages, what was still in the cupboards. And it feels just so good to get rid of things what are not nice and not giving you positive flows. So everything in those bags right now, I also put into two baskets things what was in my cupboard, but I am absolutely not using. One of them is here, it's supplements, a type of chai vitamins, protein powder and some things what is more like supplement. And here is a bucket with vegetable oils, uh, sugar, flour, salad dressing type of stuff what was still in my cupboard up there but it's not being used and I will give it away or throw it out. I will see if I find someone who wants this. Yeah, so everything is cleaned out. I'm extremely happy. And uh, everything I used in this video to make my kitchen in order will be in the description box below. And now I will show you how the kitchen looks like. So let's check the kitchen here. The counter here is fully cleared out. I have a fancier cranberry smelling air freshener. My MacBook is here. I use it a lot for the recipes. Here all the random stuff is gone. Here you see that I changed the tray for the spices and oils I regularly use. Probably I will get some goldish one later on. And the window shield is fully cleared out here. And that's probably here my favorite corner. Here I had a big mess before and now I have my regular nuts and spices and fruits and avocados I use. Here is almond flour, coconut flour and all the nuts and seeds, some extra supply up there. Yeah, everything is here at hand, what I use for cooking videos, because usually this 
where I shoot the videos for you and this cupboard became just for YouTube, for presentations, to do pictures for Instagram. What was a snack door before, but was empty for a while, became now the tree door. We have quite a lot of tea, as you can see. And then here I have a little kids corner with the cooking books. And this is how the kitchen turned out. I am so super happy about it. Everything is so nice and I feel so inspired, but definitely that corner here is my absolute favorite right now. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and all the products in the description box below and enjoy. See you guys in my next video.